We are going to talk uh, about the AI majors for you, the power of hyper-contextualization, like I said before. And uh, here at StackSpot, we truly believe in the power of AI. It's not something that uh, it's only for me. Like, I'm a huge fan of AI, but StackSpot, it's investing a lot of AI because we do believe that it can help and imp uh, improve the efficiency of uh, everybody. In fact, not only uh, developers or software uh, engineers, but from all fields. But we, we are working with developers. We are working with uh, engineers. So we are presenting to you a way to work, uh, to developers work using AI to have, a more to have a more productive day and also to enhance their developer experience, OK? So let's move forward. And here, we have a little bit more of context. I wanted before going forward, I was going to do a demo for you. But before doing the demo, I wanted to take a, for you to take a look and understand why we created StackSpot AI. Uh, we started with StackSpot AI because we, uh, before we started StackSpot AI, we have the StackSpot Enterprise Developer Platform just uh, delivered to everybody. So we have a platform that basically helps you to uh, not only uh, organize your technology vision, but also uh, publish and distribute this technology vision for the whole company. And, uh, and in that way, we can help you create applications and create infrastructure really fast. But uh, we wanted to take a step forward so what we wanted to do is basically help you guys to uh, be on your day by day by coding and helping you code in the faster way possible, in the more productive way possible, and of course, enhancing your experience while coding. So our key objectives here are basically to accelerate the coding process using leveraging the AI, also uh, having adherence to, best, to the company's best practices, and uh, of course, help you have a more streamlined development experience. And how we do it is by uh, increasing the developer's coding productivity by using the hyper-contextualization. I'll explain you and show you uh, it a little bit more uh, when I will be using the, the StackSpot AI platform. And uh, what we'll be doing here, it's also setting a golden standard to the market regarding, the, regarding uh, code generation. So that's what we're going to do. And now I'm going to present to you a little bit more of the StackSpot AI in action. So let's go. <laughs> OK. So uh, right now, what you're seeing uh, here is the StackSpot AI extension in the VS Code extension. Uh, in fact, we work with more than just VS Code. We are delivering also for JetBrains uh, an extension too for the StackSpot. And after you log in into the platform, because you need to have a login since we are here to organize and help the developers mainly in the enterprise level. Uh, but we want to you to have a way to log in and find all the stacks, all the workspaces, all the knowledge, all the context, and then to a specific account for you guys. So basically, right now, the platform is showing me a interaction, a chat interaction view, uh, why, where you can just like ask anything for it. But if you just start code, just talking with the AI right now, it will not be uh, contextualized because we have a way that we're calling the workspaces for organizing specific information to specific teams. So uh, right now, I'm just going to show you how an AI would answer a question, and then I'll show you the difference when you're using StackSpot AI. So let's move forward. So I'm just going to ask a specific thing here. Can you help me generate a bank slip? So right now, what we're doing is just sending the LLM this specific prompt. And what I expect here from the LLM, it's an answer that's generic. It's not using a specific uh, knowledge that it's from my company. It will be using something that it's really from any, comp any bank in, the, in Brazil, because here we're doing a presentation regarding something that we have in Brazil, the bank slip. Uh, but uh, it's not be using the one that I wanted. So let me show you guys. And here we have an answer. The answer is quite good, but it's not using the stack that my company has, that my company has as a vision. And it's also that mainly the code here is using uh, Python. And you can see here that we have an API example.com slash generate bank slip. So basically, it's really generic. It's not an answer that I wanted for my company. It's not something that I would like to use in my day by day. So what I'm going to do right now is to select a workspace. In this specific workspace that I'll be selecting, we are calling it AWS. It's a workspace that we selected specific uh, information uh, context, in fact. <laughs> so we put in some APIs there. We can input uh, also codes there. And other than that, event, event schemas there. And all this information will be used 
uh, for generating new code, for guaranteeing that you have a code that is contextualized with your vision of your company vision, OK? So uh, I'll select right now. It's going to ask me to select a stack. The stack is the technology vision, like I said to you guys. And here, at this specific team, uh, we have backends, we have frontends. So we have a stack for Java, a stack for .NET, a stack for Node.js, a stack for Angular, and a stack for Kotlin. I'm going to go ahead and select Java. OK. And I'll be doing the same question. Can you help me generate a bank slip? And now, what I want here is to have an answer that it's not generic anymore. Now we have a context. Now we have API, APIs that already will be helping me. Oops. What happened? Sorry. <laughs> Let me do it again. Whoops. Let's go. Typo. Oops. Let's go. So guys, basically what we're doing right now, it's trying to understand which information can be used by our knowledge sources. This is the name of the thing that we use to hyper-contextualize the AI. And we are finding out that some information can be used to generate a better answer for the, for the developer. And uh, at that time, basically, this information will be used to send to the LLM and have an output that is contextualized. OK, so uh, the AI it's, needs to do this process of understanding which information needs to be sent. We use a similarity process to find out which information is critical here. And then after that, we're going to, to give this information to the LLM, and the LLM will return to me an answer that is higher, con highly contextualized. So we don't need to train the LLM. We don't need to do any fine tuning to the LLM. What we are doing here is a process that it's, it's, it's quite easy, and, it, and, and it's really enjoying it, getting the experience of the developer much better. So right now, we have an answer that, as you can see here, it's much, much more, it's, it's better, really better. We have like, uh, right now, we are using the specific Java stack that I selected. My Java stack had Spring Boot as, as one of the definitions. We also are we're using uh, Fang as a dependency. We're using a lot of things. And let's see if the answer is it's supposed to be doing that as well. So yeah, we see here that it's using Fang client. And it's using a specific API. The API that I selected, in fact, is the sandbox.bangly.com. And I can see here that it's also creating the DTOs, the request and response. It's creating the fine client, uh, the service to use the fine client, and of course, the service in your application. So right now, we have uh, information regarding exactly what the developer is doing. We're helping him with that. He doesn't need to go to the documentation of the API, needs to understand uh, the doc uh, also the API itself. He's just asking for a specific thing. Help me create a bank slip. And we are generating this bank slip for him in a couple of seconds. This is something that would take hours, because the developer would need to read the API, understand the API, which endpoint to use, which uh, information is relevant to him, and then create an integration. Right now, we are integrating the API in a couple of seconds. So I can just click here. This is something, some part of the experience for the developer. We can click here on the Copy button and then put into our code. Or we can do uh, Insert. The insert is something that, uh, basically, uh, the last uh, place that your cursor was, uh, we're going to insert this code there. And lastly, we have the new file, which will create a new file with this specific uh, answer that we received. So this helps the developers in the day by day make things really easier. And uh, guys, I wanted also to show you that, for example, here we have, uh, we have for example, the, 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 what we call quick commands. If you select a specific code, click off your right button, we have a menu here that's called StackSpot AI. We can ask that StackSpot AI to document your code. And this is something that we do in like short, in a little, little time. And it can really help the developers with their experience while they are sharing this code with many other people. And of course, with the maintainability of the platform itself. Uh, so you can see here, we have uh, already uh, an answer here. Uh, I know that's a little bit hard to see, but I want it to be pretty big for you guys. But basically, uh, the, document the documentation is there, and it's using the Java Docs uh, pattern. So it's exactly what we wanted. So that's it. And now I'm going to provide to you another sample. Uh, I wanted to show you a case in which the Stack AI will be used as a reference for generating a reimagination of a code, a COBOL code specifically. So we are doing here, we're getting a legacy code, and we are reimagining this legacy code. And getting now uh, a, stack, a stack AI version, a stack spot AI version of the code reimagine. So let's do it. 
can you help me uh, calculate the equivalent interest rate? And what I expect here, it's exactly the same thing. We're trying to find out which information can be used to help me to have a better answer for the developer. And of course, we do have it because I already, I was the governance team right now, so I inputted this information there. And I, I, I really think that StackSpot AI will find out this information and this will be used to generate a code that it's, uh, the output of it is a, a reimagination of the COBOL code. So yeah, we have an answer. <laughs> and again, the answer is pretty good. It's showing me uh, we have a, a math version here. There's a specific uh, business rule that we, are, that we implemented here. And it's using like uh, math pub, one plus nominal rate, uh, divided by compounding periods per year, and, and et cetera. And uh, this, this rule doesn't come from anywhere. It came from what you're calling, again, the knowledge sources. So right here, we have two knowledge sources that were, were used to generate this, this answer. And let's see here. So yeah. This is specific. It's a bank example for generation of co for generation of uh, a calculation of uh, the total equivalent interest rate, and the equivalent interest rate uh, function is defined here. So you can see here that we have uh, right here the exact same function uh, being uh, being addressed, being uh, <laughs> used here, being created here in Cobol code to be executed, and it's the, exactly the same code, the exact same calculation that StackSpot AI provided here. So yeah. So this is the power of AI. We're helping the developers to do their daily jobs in a faster way and more productive way. And we do believe that StackSpot AI has much more to offer, but here I just have 20 minutes. So uh, let me just go back to my presentation. Whoops. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to ask you guys is to go to our booth. We have a booth, the number is 530. And uh, there, we'll be presenting more about the StackSpot AI, but also about the StackSpot EDP. And today, we're doing a release. It's a launch uh, of StackSpot AI. So you can try StackSpot AI for free in your personal account. So you can take a little bit more of what we're saying here. Like StackSpot AI is much more than just a, a, a code generation assistant. It's a code generation assistant that helps you with the hyper-contextualization, helps you input information there and get outputs that are really not generic. There are inputs, outputs that you can really use in your daily life. So uh, yeah. I just wanted to ask you guys to go on. If you want to scan the QR code, it's pretty nice to see a little bit of a platform. And uh, if you want to lead the change, just ask. We're StackSpot AI. I would like really to thank you all for the time. And if you have anything to ask, now is the moment, guys.